Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Kay. And in today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at the February edition of Glossy Box. So if you've been keeping up with my Glossy Box unboxings, you'll know that I'm not particularly thrilled about this box at the moment. I think there are a number of issues that need to be resolved at their end and I just I generally just think they've been a bit slow to recover from what happened at the beginning of last year also um, this is one of my cats he has decided that he's gonna start roaming around in the background I'm sorry if that's distracting but if I wait for him to chill out and calm down we could be here all day so we're just gonna click on and hope for the best aren't we bud yeah okay so if you don't really care about any of the issues you already know everything there is to know about this box you just want to skip ahead to the items inside then as usual i will leave a timestamp in the comments down below for you to skip ahead but if you want to know a little bit more about this box then i'm going to give a brief little description here but i will also leave some more detailed information in the description box down below so that you can check that out at your own leisure so Glossybox is a monthly beauty subscription service. It costs £13.25 per month on a one month rolling subscription but you can take out other lengths of subscription and there are some pay up front offers as well which can reduce the cost of your box. So for example I've got a 12 month rolling subscription with them and my boxes cost me £11.75 per month so it just brings the cost down a little bit. Inside the box you'll find five beauty products ranging from um, makeup to skincare to hair care and beauty tools and the sizes range from deluxe mini all the way up to full size and the total value of this box usually comes to around the £50 mark although quite often it's a little bit more. Now I've got to say the packaging on this month's box is amazing, I really love the packaging on this box. Um, I actually do remember what a cassette tape is so this is a little bit nostalgic for me um, I remember the pure frustration of things getting chewed up in your cassette player and having to get a pencil in there to try and wind it all back up but uh, anyway moving on so obviously what this looks like is irrelevant if what's inside is not great um, I have already opened this just because I wanted to check to make sure that everything matched the card because again if you've been watching these videos you'll know that that's not always the case with my boxes for once everything seems to match so um, usually you'll get the um, card and then everything's nice and neatly wrapped up tied up with a ribbon as you can see as I said I've already opened it um, and the card just tells us everything we need to know about the products inside tells us the RRPs tells us a, tells us a little bit about the actual products and how to use them and we'll be referring to this as we go through the items so if things look a little bit different to the way they just did um, maybe the lighting looks a little bit different that's because this is me six hours in the future um, so I filmed this video, I filmed a few other videos, I turned everything off, went about my life and then realised I hadn't actually told you anything about the theme of this edit so I'm just going to let you know what that is now and um, read the little intro from the card to you so um, the theme this month is Sing, Dance, Love, Repeat and it says, Hi Glossies, February is the month of love and at Glossy HQ one of our biggest loves is music You'll frequently catch us humming a tune, which is why our mantra for the month is sing, dance, love, repeat. Whatever you love, we've got a box here that you're sure to adore. This is something special that you don't have to wait until Valentine's for. Nice little rhyming there. Love team glossy box. So that explains the whole, you know, why the box looks the way it does. And uh, that's all I really needed to say. On the back of the card, there's usually a sneak peek for an item in next month's box. And this month is no exception. So... If you don't want to know what the sneak peek is then again I'm going to leave timestamps in the comments below so that you can skip past this little section um, but if you do want to know what it is it is a mascara from Butanique Beauty and it's the nourishing mascara it's uh, apparently worth £15.50 
And that's that one. So again, going with the cuteness factor, this uh, tissue paper is uh, very cool. I do like that. And then getting into the first product, we're going to get this out of the way now. So this was the sneak peek from last month's box. Um, and I suspected that I might find issues with this. Now, I, I have had some Avant products in the past where I've needed to look into the prices. And I realised a while ago that the products that you get in subscription boxes from Avant are not the products that you will be able to buy from retailers this one appears to be no exception in fact this item seems to be less like the um one available from look fantastic for instance than any other avant product we've ever received so i'll go through the ingredients i'll read them out and then you can see the difference on here pronunciation of some of these is going to be way off i'm aware of that reading from top of the ingredients list to the bottom so in order of how much is in the actual product we've got glycerin sucrose simonsia chinensis or jojoba seed oil aqua water organia spinosa shell powder aroma carbamophenoxyethanol sodium hydroxide sodium saccharine propylene glycol sodium hyaluronate peonia lactiflora root extract tree hollows and then we've got CI17200, which is red 33, potassium sorbate and sodium benzoate. Now, I don't mind that they're putting sort of subscription box versions into these boxes. What I do mind is that they're claiming in subscription boxes that this is a £58 product. This, this is not a £58 product. One, it's a lip scrub no lip scrubs worth 58 pounds in my opinion um but it's also not the 58 pound product that you can buy from retailers it's just not um we will read what the card says so it says fortified with incredible ingredients such as rose peony and sweet almond this scrub will leave you with super soft kissable lips just in time for valentine's key ingredient rose Key ingredient rose works to buff away dead skin cells and impurities to reveal fresh, youthful lips. This product's light reflective properties also illuminate the lips, allowing them to glow. Um, as I said, the RRP is £58. I am going to use it. I do like lip scrubs. I do use lip scrubs. I enjoy using lip scrubs. I don't for one second think that this is going to be so amazing that I'm going to want to rush out and buy one. One, I'm not paying £58 for a lip scrub. Two, I can, I'm looking at the texture of this through the tube and I'm already thinking that I'm going to prefer my 4 99 Barry M lip scrub as opposed to this. It is what it is, but we will just have a little look to see what it, it looks like. So, just squeeze some out. That's probably about a pound right there um and let's rub it in yeah that just feels sticky i don't know if you can see that that just feels really sticky and glossy and doesn't seem to have a lot of scrub it doesn't feel it doesn't feel that great and it doesn't smell like rose which i was kind of expecting it to do a lot of avant products smell like rose but this doesn't really so that's a plus if you're not into fragrance you might be okay with this if you don't actually want your lip scrub to be super scrubby um but yeah overall not really that impressed with that next we've got this from steve laurent and this is the total repair lip mask I like lip masks i tend not to use them as much as i use other masks like full face masks or eye masks um but i do enjoy using them my lips have actually been quite dry um the last few weeks i think mm, sort of a combination of the weather being indoors a lot more it's it's not been great so i do actually really like that this is in here let's see what the card says 
So the RRP on this is £5. Lips feeling dry and cracked from cold weather. Steve Laurent's Total Repair Lip Mask will bring a burst of hydration to your lips whenever they're in need of a little extra love. Instantly soothing and revitalising lips, this mask also helps to reduce the appearance of fine lines and leave them looking and feeling soft and smooth. So, yeah, quite like that. Um, it will definitely get some use. Next, we've got a product from Bubble Tea. I'm quite excited for this. So this is the Peach Bellini Restoring Hand Cream. I'm currently using a hand cream from Bubble Tea. Um, it's the Moroccan Mint one, but it's in slightly different packaging, so I'm wondering if they've reformulated. And I've just had a hand and body butter from the Look Fantastic Beauty Box as well. So I'm going to open this just to see what it smells like and what it feels like. Um, the body butter was obviously quite thick. I've taken that scrub off. And that's what that looks like on there. I'm just going to rub that in. Well, that's definitely thinner, a thinner texture than the body butter um, version, which I would expect. And oh, that smells so good! Oh, oh, that really does smell like peaches. Oh, oh, I want to slather myself in this. That smells. That smells so nice. Mm -hmm. mm. Definitely happy to have this in here. So this is another full size product and has an RRP of £4.99. Packed with a fresh sense of ripe peaches and a touch of bubbles along with added aloe vera extract and ultra moisturising shea butter, this product is a real treat for your hands. Sweet and uplifting, this hand cream is guaranteed to nourish and soothe hands that have dried out from the cold. Yeah. I've got nothing else to say about this. I really like this. I'm uh, definitely excited to use this one. Next, we've got this from Nude Sticks. And this is the Gel Colour Lip and Cheek Balm. I've had a couple of Nude Sticks things over the last couple of years. And I haven't really used many of them, to be honest. This is a red shade. Does it have a shade name? Siren. It's in the shade Siren. So we're just going to pop that on here. Whoops. And that's what that looks like. It's really nice. I uh, can see myself using that. Definitely more as a lip product than a cheek product it's a bit too red for me for a, a cheek product but uh but yeah as a lip product i'm definitely willing to give that a try but this is well this says it's also full size looks a little bit smaller than some of the other things i've had um the rrp is supposedly 20 pounds Rich in colour and glossy in shine, this multi-purpose beauty product works as both a gorgeous tinted lip balm and as a natural cream blush. Every pencil is made with skin protecting plant oils and is infused with vitamin E for extra hydration. Simply draw directly onto your lips or cheeks and then blend to create a look that is fresh and dewy. Sounds quite nice, I, uh, I'm definitely going to give that a go. And then last but not least we have the missing product from last month's box. So if you watched last month's unboxing, you'll know that there was a product replaced and that product was the Glow On Fifth Beauty Rose Gua Sha. So it comes in this little box here and I have already seen comments about this online. So I already know what to expect when I open this box. And that is that this product is plastic so at no point was that mentioned um i mean obviously they didn't need to mention it they just told you you were getting a rose gua sha but when you say you're getting a rose gua sha most people would assume and from the photos it looked like it was a rose quartz gua sha now in the card for last month this was actually listed and it did say that it was £10 which for a rose quartz gua sha maybe that's wishful thinking um, but yeah I don't think anybody was expecting a piece of plastic 
I mean, this this got held up. This got held up at the border, and this is why people's boxes were delayed, and then they didn't get them. Now, I've never used a gua sha, so I don't know how it's supposed to sort of feel and work. I will give this a go, but I've already seen a lot of comments from people saying this this just this just doesn't this just doesn't do it. So we'll see. Um, now, as I said, the RRP for this is ten pounds. This facial massage tool helps contour your face and neck to enhance your features. However, can also be used to relieve tight muscles. Use this gua sha over clean skin for four to six minutes every day to flush lymphatic drainage and increase blood flow and circulation. As a result, you'll be left with radiant, vibrant and youthful skin. Now, as I said, I don't know much about these, but I, I got the impression that they're supposed to work in a similar way to the rollers. Obviously, not exactly the same, but in that they're meant to be cooling so that you can push things in, like your serums and your moisturisers and things like that. This being plastic, I feel like this is going to get warm pretty quickly as you're using it. Um, and I feel like I'm just going to use my rollers and not bother with this, which is a shame um, because I think this had the potential to be something really good. It, it's just a bit of a letdown um, considering, you know, it was a product that was highly talked about last month because it was missing you know I, I guess that sort of hyped it up a bit and made people think that they were going to be getting something really good this month and this was not what people were expecting so that's that so that brings us to the end of the box quick little recap we've got the avant lip scrub we've got the steve laurent lip mask We've got the Bubble Tea Peach Bellini Hand Cream. We've got the Nude Stick Slip and Cheek Balm in the shade Siren. And we've got the Glow On Fifth Rose Gua Sha. So overall, what do I think of this month's box? Um, I think it's safe to say it's a bit mixed. There's definitely a few products in here that I'm keen to try and excited to have. The Nude Sticks product is definitely something that I'm willing to try. The lip mask is going to be quite useful and the hand cream just smells really good and is going to be really useful for me at the moment. So those are really nice. Overall, is it a bad box this month? Maybe not, but I think with all the issues that Glossy Box have been having this past 12 months, I think, I think I've just... I've become a little bit tainted and maybe I'm looking for issues. I'm not sure. If you disagree with me about this box and you actually really loved it, please let me know. Um, you know, I, I really do love to know what other people think about these things. Are you a subscriber to this box and you're having similar issues to me or similar thoughts to me? Just let me know in the comments down below. I really do love to hear other people's thoughts and opinions. If you've enjoyed this video, please remember to hit that like button for me. It really does help me out and lets me know that you're enjoying my content. If you're not already subscribed to my channel and you think you'd like to catch up with me more often, then I'd love it if you could hit that subscribe button too. It's totally free and would help you to find me more easily in future. And with all of that being said, I really do hope everyone's well and staying safe. And I will see you all again in another video very, very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.